Station, this is Houston on Space to Ground 2, looking sharp. Are you ready for the event? Houston, we are ready for the event. Houston, Huntsville, Moscow, Scuba, and Munich. I didn't get them in the right order. Um, good afternoon from the International Space Station. It has been truly a pleasure and an honor to be commander of this marvelous machine and of this amazing crew. Um, while our crew complement time together has been relatively short, it is certainly time that I will cherish forever. Um, one only needs to look at who's assembled here to recognize this truly is an international endeavor. It's an endeavor that um, not only accomplishes amazing science and does fantastic technological demonstrations, but it's an endeavor that is a stepping stone for our future collective human space exploration. I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> um, so, it's been said so many times before, and I really want to say it again, that nothing on this space station is possible without the tremendous teamwork of people all over the world. Um, this amazing technological machine and this crew, we show that when people work together, we can overcome difficult challenges and accomplish spectacular things. And we know and we hope that what we accomplish up here will benefit humanity for years to come. But now, now is the time that Crew One has to uh, prepare to return to Earth. And so it's time to hand over the keys to the vehicle. And so I am so excited to hand over to my classmate and my friend, Akihiko Hoshide. Um, I'd like to borrow from the Navy tradition of transferring um, authority and responsibility by saying just a few words. Aki, I relinquish command. Congratulations. And Shannon, I accept the command. Thank you. Um, thank you very much, Shannon. Um, it's, uh, it's a great honor to uh, take commandership from you. Um, like you said, you know, you've been a great commander, but not just that, uh, you've been a great classmate and a friend for us, and as well as Shane, another peacock on board. So um, yes, it's a, it's a truly a privilege to uh, be up here, and f especially for the resilience crew. You guys were amazing. Um, you guys had you know, a couple months of uh, EVAs and science and uh, fixing things and uh, everything, but in particular, you guys were uh, getting ready for us, the Soyuz crew to come on board, as well as uh, us Endeavour crew. And uh, you guys were amazing, and we're just gonna be uh, uh, proud if we can follow your footsteps. Um, for the rest of us that are gonna be here for another few months, um, I only uh, requ re uh, request your help, and uh, I fully rely on you your expertise, and like I said before, Piotr, you're not a rookie anymore. You've been here for a few weeks, so you're fully capable, I know that. And uh, also for the team on the ground, uh, all over the world. Uh, we are one team, and uh, let's make this happen. Uh, great mission. And uh, let's uh, be safe, and let's have fun. All right, Houston, that is it, unless you have some words for us. Congratulations to all of you. Thank you, Station. That concludes the change of command portion of the event. We'd like Crew 1 of Resilience to please take your places for farewell remarks.
station. This is Houston. You may begin your remarks. Okay, Houston, uh, from the uh, crew of Resilience, I, I think I'll just start off uh, first by saying thank you. Uh, thank you to everyone on the ground that has made this mission possible. And uh, also just want to say thank you to all of our crewmates up here that have made it uh, so memorable as well. Um, and then with that, I'm going to hand it off to uh, my crewmates, let them say a few words, and then I'll uh, put in some closing remarks at the end. Well, uh, thank you, Houston. Thank you, Huntsville, Munich, Scuba. Uh, our six months journey was almost coming to an end, but uh, friendship will continue along with the good memories. So, uh, arigato gozaimashita, uh, spasiba, uh, and uh, merci beaucoup. Diana, Lord willing, I'll be seeing you soon. Genesis, Maya, Joya, Corinne, mom, dad, stepmom, my little brothers. Um, I look forward to, to being with you physically in person soon. It'll be awesome. Um, to the ground team, it's been great working with you, for you. Uh, it, it's been an awesome adventure. Uh, it truly is a privilege to work and to live here. And, and being able to do both makes this just a really unique um, uh, experience. And so as the only rookie in the group, uh, it was really an honor to, to, to become a part of an expedition and see what it's like to, to, to fly the International Space Station. And um, I think 165-ish uh, or so days, was, was uh, it flew by. It has really gone by quickly. And um, I'm grateful for, for every day of it. Thank you to everybody on the ground. And uh, I hope, borrowing from our commander here, our, our Dragon Commander, that I hope uh, we worked very hard to get ready for this mission, and I hope we made you proud. Thank you. Yeah, so when I look back on this mission, you know, I think about all the science that we did and the repairs that we made, and boy, did we make some good repairs on the space station. <laughs> we got it rewired. Um, but what really is going to uh, remain with me is the camaraderie and the friendship and the time that we have spent together. Um, the laughing that we do over dinners, the uh, movie nights that we have had have truly made this very special. So always thanks to everybody on the ground. Um, clearly we can't do this without you. And thanks to my crewmates. Okay, those, uh, those words are actually gonna be pretty tough to, to follow. <laughs> and, and I would like to uh, add on to what Shannon said. Uh, this crew has, has been amazing and it's been pretty special. Uh, you know, Ike and I started almost three years ago. Uh, Shannon and Suichi joined us uh, a little bit later, uh, actually probably, what, about nine months or so before we launched, something like that. And uh, man, I tell you, they were just, uh, they were amazing to have on the team, on the crew, and they really brought a lot to it and, that, uh, and really closed things out well for us. Um, so I think it's safe to say that, that all of us are, are very happy with this mission so far. Uh, I mean, when I say happy, I mean both in terms of uh, Crew Dragon resilience and how it has performed so far, and then also the ISS mission and everything that we've been able to uh, accomplish up here as, as part of that mission. Um, however, we have a lot of work to go, um, and that's uh, a lot of work to accomplish our primary objective, and that's to get home safely to our families. And so I will say that, uh, you know, the commercial crew program, uh, these new vehicles, it's very er these are very early chapters in the story of, of these vehicles. Uh, we are, every day is a first. Every day we're learning something new about uh, the vehicle, both technically, about how we operate the vehicles. And, and so we've got a long way to go in that respect. Uh, however, we're also seeing at this very early stage the impacts of, of what this vehicle or what these vehicles are going to have on human exploration, human space exploration. Um, and so you can see that in terms of uh, how it's enabled the science on board the, the space station here by having more crew members on board. The amount of science that we've accomplished over the last uh, six months is, uh, I think, truly incredible. The amount of maintenance we've mentioned uh, as well, uh, the spacewalks, is, is just been, has just been incredible. 
But then the other part I'd like to add is, is just seeing how it's enabling the growth in the private space flight. Um, you know, this vehicle, our, our wonderful vehicle, Crew Dragon Resilience, is scheduled to launch again with a private mission uh, this uh, later this year. And, and so I think that's another just benefit of what the commercial crew program has, has brought to human uh, space exploration. And uh, I guess then finally, in closing, in terms of a splashdown, I think all of us, as you can imagine, are very excited about the splashdown because of what it's going to enable, and that's uh, the, the return to our families. And I think all of us are, are looking forward to that. So um, I think we're all very happy with the mission. Um, I think uh, we're all very excited, though, to, to come home as well. And thank you all very much. Station, this is Houston ACR. Thank you. That concludes our event. Thank you, Station. Congrats to Crew Ruan. Godspeed on your return. And we'll now be resuming operational space-to-ground communications. <laughs>